hi guys welcome back to another video of easy tutorials today in this video we will create a testimonial design for website using html css and javascript in this testimonial design you can see the review text name and image of the user when we will click on the another user's image then it will display the review text and name of the particular user when we select any user it will increase the image size and you can see a border around the user's image when we select another image, the review text is changing with some animation. We will make this animated testimonial slider design using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. But before starting this video, please hit the like button and also subscribe Easy Tutorials YouTube channel. Now let's start this video. In this folder, I have one HTML and CSS file and another folder with some images. You can find all these images download link in the video description. Now I will open these files with my code editor which is Visual Studio Code. You can use any code editor. So this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structures. And this one is the CSS file. I have connected the HTML and CSS file with this link tag. Now we will add the code in the body tag. So here in this body we will add one div with the class name container. Next we will add the CSS for this container. So add this class name in the CSS file and here we will add the CSS properties like width, min height, then we will add the background, here we will add one color code. Next we will add display, align items center and justify content center. Now open this HTML file with any web browser so you can see this color on the complete screen. Let's close this browser and I will open this browser with the Visual Studio Code extension called Live Server. Now let's come back to the HTML file and here we will add one div with the class name testimonial and inside this div we will add another div with the class name testimonial text. In this testimonial text Let's add another div with the class name user text and in this one we will add the text in p tag. So this is the text and after that we will add the name in a span tag. Here we will add the name and designation. After adding this let's open the website again. You can see this text. Now let's come back and here we will add space and here let's add testimonial pick. In this one we will add the user's image. So here let's add the image and image file path and one class name user pick. Simply duplicate it. We need five images and here we will change the image file name. Now you can see these images on the website. Now let's come back and copy this class name testimonial, write it here in this CSS file and for this one we will add the CSS properties like width, max width, then we will add the margin auto. After that let's add the another class name testimonial text and here we will add the background this color code. After that we will add color and width and height. Let's add the position relative and we will add box shadow. After that you can see some changes on the web page. Next we have to change its position. So let's come back to the HTML file and you can see we have added this text in this div with the class name user text. So write this class name here and for this user text we will add the width and text align center so that it will be in the center. Then we will add line height and position absolute top 50% left 50% and transform translate minus 50 and minus 50% so you can see these text in the center of this colored box next we will add one icon so here we will go to fontawesome.com create an account here then click here on kits then click here and here you will get this one line of code just copy this one and add it in your HTML file in the head tag. We have added it here just above this closing head tag. After that we can add the icon anywhere on the web page. So we will add it here. So again come back to the font awesome. 
click here on icons and search any icon let me click on this icon and click here to copy this one line of code and paste it in your html file we will add it here just above this p text after adding this again refresh the website and you can see this quote icon on the web page next we have to change its position and size so you can see the class name is fas so in this css file we will add user text dot fas here we will add the font size 30 pixel and some space at the bottom then some space from the top you can see it looks like this now let's come back and here we will add css for a span so here let's add user text a span and here we will add display then font size then we will add some space from the top then font weight and text transform will be uppercase now these icons text and this name is looking good next we will design these images so let's come back and here we have the class name testimonial pic let's add this class name in the css file and for this one we will add margin from the top to add some space and display flex and align item center justify content center now you can see it is aligned in the center horizontally center now let's come back and here we have the class name user pick so for particular image here we will add width 65 pixel then some padding and border radius will be 50 percent so that it will be a circle then margin and cursor pointer now you can see all these images looks good next we have to add other text for other users we have added only one text right now so come back to the html file and here we have this user text just duplicate this complete div we need it for five times now we will replace all these text and name so you can see i have replaced the review text and name now refresh the website you can see all the text are overlapping each other so we have to hide other text and we will display only one so let's come back and first we have added the user text class name so in this user text we will add display none so it will hide all the text you can see it is hidden now we have to display only one text so let's come back suppose we want to display the second one so in this second div with this class name user text we will add one more class name active text and let's copy this class name come to the css file here we will add dot user text dot active text you can see we are not adding any space here we will add display block after adding this again refresh the website you can see only one text here which is for the second user you can see the user's name here and let's come back to the html file you can see the same name in the second one now come at the bottom and in the second image we will add one class name active pick just copy this class name and come to the css file here we will add the class name user pick dot active pick and in this one we will increase the width it will be 100 pixel and we will add border 3 pixel solid and this color code after that refresh the website and you can see the increased size for the second image and you can see the border also now we have to add the click event on the other image so it will change the user text so let's come back to the html file and just above this closing body tag we will add a script open and closing tag here we will add let user text equal to document dot get elements by class name and in this class name we will add the class name this one user text now again we will add let user picks equal to document dot get elements by class name and here we will add the class name of the image which is user pick in this one we will add s user texts after that we have to add the click feature in these images so here we will add on click equal to one function name here we will add so review now we have to add the same thing in other image because we will add the same click function in all the images 
after adding this next we have to define this function so let's come back here in this script here we will add function so review and in this one first we have to hide the circle from the user's picture so here we will add for loop user pick of user picks let's add user pick dot class list dot remove so it will remove the particular class name which one which is active pick you can see here we have added active pick in the second one so whenever this function will be called it will remove this class name so that border will be removed again write for loop here we will add user text of user texts then write user text dot class list dot remove and here we will remove that active class from the review text you can see we have the class name active text in the second one so it will remove this class name also so the text will be hidden after adding this let's come back to the website and you can see if i click here it is removing that text and it is also removing the circle from the image next we have to add the circle on the particular image and it will display the text of the particular user so here we will add let i equal to array from user picks index of event target so it will get the index of the clicked image next we have to apply the active class name on the particular image so here we will add user picks index i dot class list dot add and here we will add this class name active pick so it will add the active pick class name where we will click again duplicate this one here we will add user texts and class list dot add active text so it will display the text of the particular user after adding this again refresh the website you can see if i click on the first one it is displaying the text for the first user you can see it is changing the text when we click on another image and it is also changing the border and image size but right now it is changing immediately we need some animation so let's come back in this css file and here in this active text here we will add animation any name move up three seconds linear forwards then we have to add keyframes for this one so at the bottom we will add keyframes move up zero percent and at the zero percent we will add margin top 25 pixel and duplicate this one and change it as 100 percent at 100 percent here we will add margin top zero in this animation let's change this one it will be 0 0.5 seconds that's it after that again refresh the website and if i click on another image you can see the user text is changing with smooth animation and the circle is also moving from one image to another when we click on another image so finally we have completed this beautiful animated review slider using html css and javascript i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video